Good morning. I am on my way to my second growth ultrasound. I am 32 weeks pregnant. Yesterday evening I had therapy. This morning I have an ultrasound. Tomorrow evening I have a prenatal appointment and then Thursday morning I have a physical with my primary. So lots of doctor's appointments. To catch you up a little bit, I did run into a hiccup, you could say, with my OB office. So after my last ultrasound, I had a prenatal scheduled and it ended up needing to get rescheduled. Whatever, happens all the time. So when it was being rescheduled, I was on the phone with a nurse and I just said, I'm 30 weeks pregnant and I don't have anything else scheduled besides this. I think that's an issue. And she said, oh my God, that's definitely an issue because you're supposed to be coming in bi-weekly for prenatals and then it switches to weekly for your prenatals, I think the last month. Um, and they call it a prenatal appointment, not to be confused with the prenatal vitamin. My OB is the chief of OB. <laughs> Chief of OBGYN for this hospital group, so his schedule is jam packed. Unfortunately, all of my prenatal appointments are going to have to be at Wareham, which is not a local office for me. So, to do that every other week or every week is a little annoying, but I would still rather be in my OB's presence if he's going to be delivering the baby and has gotten me this far versus seeing someone brand new. Today I am meeting my sister for this ultrasound. Jonathan is no longer laid off. They brought him back to work about three weeks ago, so he unfortunately will not be able to come to any more ultrasounds or prenatal appointments with me. My sister will be in the delivery room with me and my husband. I'm not sure if I've already talked about that. I really haven't sat down and worked out a birth plan, which I should probably do. Okay, so let's start off with the photos. I'll start from the bottom. So these are her side profile, head, nose, lips, and hand up here. And then this one is her face from like face on. These are her eye sockets, her little nose, her mouth, her hand. She looks like a demon. Like it almost looks like a claw. <laughs> so wild. I feel like if I were to show this to someone, they wouldn't know what they were looking at until I explained it. So these are the images we got today. She said that my fluid was great, wasn't too low, too high. She's still measuring 60 percentile. She weighs a little over four pounds. I was kind of concerned because I haven't gained any weight in the last three weeks. I've consistently been 138 pounds and six ounces but she said that she's on track and growing great and everything looks great. The only issue is she is still breached. Her head is sitting right here and then her spine wraps around and her butt is down here. Her legs wrap all the way up and her legs were crisscross <laughs> sitting like a lady and she had one arm up by her face and the other stretched down. I would love to try to give birth naturally. I think that's a once in a lifetime experience that I would love to have. But if it's not in my cards, it's not something that's going to break my heart or I'm going to feel jaded. I'm going to do a quick nursery update. It's in shambles to be honest, but there has been some progress since I last showed you. This is honestly all of the progress. <laughs> so the Wayne's coating is up. The entire room is painted this aged beige to match the wallpaper that I did with my mom. And Jonathan built the crib. We have not taken the plastic off of the mattress yet. Put the mattress pad on, put sheets on. Just don't want it to get dusty and I cleaned all of that stuff. <laughs> so as far as the rest of the nursery, this is still my husband's closet. We need to discard this stuff. I unboxed the diaper pail, big deal, but this closet still needs to be converted into her closet. So we need to figure out what to do with all of that. And yeah, this is pretty much the rest of the room. I did order a dresser, which will be going right here. 
with the changing pad on top. I looked at curtains yesterday and curtain rods. He needs to put the blinds back up. I'm hunting for a light. I'm hunting for a rug. I'm hunting for a chair. So there's still a lot to do in here. I just got to acupuncture. So let me rewind and catch you up a little bit. There's really no update as far as me and baby girl go. She is still breached. My OB is not concerned. He said she still has a couple weeks, but that's not how I roll. I wouldn't say I'm concerned, but I'm definitely trying to move her. So he recommended acupuncture and luckily enough, I already see the acupuncturist that he recommended. I've been with her for two years, all through IVF essentially, because my IVF doctor also recommended her. From everything that I've seen online, she's gonna stick needles in my feet, and then there's this ancient Chinese stick that they burn. I don't know. I, I'm gonna report back to you and let you know how different it is compared to my usual acupuncture appointments. I'm very curious if it's gonna change a lot. Just left acupuncture, I feel amazing. As far as the appointment goes, I walked in, we caught up with all of my doctor's updates and whatnot, and she was funny. You look like you're five months pregnant. I said, I know, what a great compliment. <laughs> and then we went into our appointment, so when you're this far along, she has you lay on your side. I'm sure any acupuncturist would have you lay on your side. You're really not supposed to be on your back or your stomach. As far as placement, my head, my wrists, my back, my ankles, and I think there was a couple in my feet. I can't, I honestly can't remember. Sometimes I don't feel them and other times it feels like it's such a small prick, like you popped a pimple or something like that. I did get really restless towards end of laying on my side and I kept moving and I could feel them falling out of my back which is my own fault but it's not a big deal just means they were ready to come out I was done cooking and then she came in and I asked to go on my back because I am not ridiculously big it was okay such a short period of time and that's when she did the breach work she explained that there's Mox, moxin, I think it starts with an M. I'm just gonna call it moxin, that's probably incorrect, I apologize. But she said there's three different forms of moxin and she used the Japanese form, which is in like a wool. It almost looked like a dried up, oh my God, what is it called? Coral, if you've ever exfoliated with like a sea sponge, that's what it looked like. And she ripped off the tiniest, tiniest piece, like a sesame seed size. And she has this special cream. It was like a red gel-like consistency. And she applied both to the outer part of my pinky toe. And then lit it on fire. <laughs> Again, I wasn't watching. I was there laying and relaxing. But that's pretty much what she explained it to me. She said that it should feel warm if you feel anything. It should never feel like a burning sensation. I really didn't feel anything. Um, I could smell it. It smelled like an incense. I love the smell of incense, so it didn't bother me at all. That was a couple minutes. She was in the room with me the whole time. And then after that, she just did some massage work, hand work on my back. So from my upper neck down to my lower back. Sometimes she'll do some energy work on me after she applies all the needles for acupuncture. Didn't do that today, which is fine. Fingers crossed, she flips. I did schedule another appointment for the end of April, which is before my next ultrasound. If she flips before then, I'll cancel it. If she doesn't, I'll keep it, and hopefully that will work. We're on our way home right now. I'll give you guys a nursery so excited to show you. I am really excited to give you an update. We just, literally just, cleared out all of the cardboard that has been piling up here. So I'll start from, I guess, least decorated to most decorated. I'm going to order plates 
switch plates, some like gold vintage ones. But we put these curtains up last night and the curtain rods this weekend. I still need to steam them. And I did purchase blackout curtains from Amazon. I like the little pom-poms. I think it's a nice feminine detail. And we got our recliner in. I got this for a very good deal on Wayfair. It was originally $890 and I got it for $280. So it swivels, it rocks, it reclines. I love it. It shipped the next day, free shipping. Like I really lucked out with this. Quality is amazing. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I went with the white because that's what was available. That's just accessories. I'm not sure where to store yet. So this is my favorite section of her nursery so far. Got a crib sheet and underneath you can kind of see are some extra diapers. So I need to steam that crib sheet as well. And I installed the Nanit. We went with, they had like a bundle, which is the other pieces down there. So that's a sleep sack, a travel case, and then there is a flexible stand. The Nanit will not stay in here in the beginning. It will be in our bedroom with the bassinet, which is also set up. This is another handmade blanket that's pretty special. My mom handmade this for me. So we have all kinds of little baby animals on here. And she never, <laughs> I don't know why, but she never put my name in here. I think because it just took her so long to stitch. She decided not to give it to me as a baby, but she did gift it to me at my shower so that I can have it for my daughter. And no one believes me, but we do not have a name yet. We're still between two. And I think I just need to see her in order to finalize it. But once we pick her name, my mom will stitch her name in the center of the heart. But I think we've made great progress. It's very cute and feminine in here, which is exactly what I wanted. I did a terrible job of vlogging today. So a little update. Last night we went to the movies, watched Civil War. It was like an hour and a half long movie and she was moving the entire time. Not just like stretching or a little elbow here and there. I mean, moving, which is great. That's what I want her to do. And I could tell that she went from her head here to head here because I just had a bulge on the side. You could just, you could feel it. You could feel everything. And then this morning we went to a 3D, 4D ultrasound, which was so freaking cool. I had invited a ton of people, but half of them ended up traveling and the other, I guess, half had a funeral this morning. So it ended up just being me, my husband, and my mom, which was fine. Even if it was just me, I still would have loved to have gone. So the ultrasound tech did confirm that she is horizontal. So she's almost into birthing position, we hope. She told me to chug a soda tonight and go on all fours for 30 minutes and she'll move. So I am going to try that since last night there was so much activity. It was really cool during the ultrasound. The first thing that she saw, we saw while it was still in 2D was all of these like hair follicles going through the heartburn <laughs> that I have. Makes sense, she has hair. We saw her smiling. We saw her get upset. Uh, what else, Jonathan? Stuck her tongue out. Stuck her tongue out. She was grabbing opened at, her eye. opened her eyes. She was grabbing at the umbilical cord. So I guess the umbilical cord, babies like to keep it up by their faces because of the pulsing it's very soothing and they also suck on it to self-soothe and i did not know that so she kept reaching for it and like kept it by her chin she is extremely twisted up she had one arm blocking her like this pretty much the whole time and once they had me drink a can of mountain dew she started opening up a little bit. So it was really, really cool to see what her position is and kind of confirm everything I've been feeling and get a little uh, peace of mind that she is starting to flip. So hopefully she keeps trending in that direct, like right now, like big, big movements. 
trending in that direction. I think that was kind of it, but we got videos, we got photos. I got a stuffed animal of her heartbeat. Her heartbeat was great. She's measuring five and a half pounds. The ultrasound tech thinks that she'll be like right under eight when I deliver. For her growth, she is also measuring at thir 34 weeks and four days when I am 34 weeks and two days. So she's more on trend now. And in like the 54th percentile where before it's been high 70s. So she's evening out. <sighs> evening out to be an average young lady, but she's so cute. But we had an excellent experience. It was amazing to see like a little preview of what she's going to look like. Very excited. I'm tired, so I'm gonna go bounce, get her to flip, and nap.